Well, new at six to log or not to log. That was a question facing San Francisco YMCA and its popular summer cramp camp up in the uh, Santa Cruz Mountains. Visiting Camp, Go camp Jones Gulch has been a rite of passage for thousands of Bay Area kids, but money trouble almost forced a dire solution. KPI X5's John Ramos and how they managed to preserve the redwoods. If you grew up anywhere near the San Mateo area, there's a good chance you came to YMCA Camp Jones Gulch. And now the camp has entered into an amazing deal that will keep it looking the way you remember it. In the late 1800s, the property was an old logging operation and the camp's current dining hall housed a sawmill that helped rebuild San Francisco after the earthquake. But in 1930, the land was sold to the San Francisco YMCA to be used as a summer camp with the shocking stipulation that girls were allowed here too. Now, almost 100 years later, generations of kids have played under the canopy of these majestic redwoods. If you're from San Mateo County, you know Camp Jones Gulch, you were here. And the reason people remember that is because of the experience nature was able to provide them. But then things took a weird turn. The camp needed money to fix up some of the old vintage cabins and facilities, so in 2006, the YMCA applied for a timber harvest permit to log the redwood trees on the 900-acre property. As you can imagine, the camp community was outraged by the idea of logging a nature camp. But if nature's not there, how are we going to do our work and how are we going to do our mission? The idea was dumped, but the need for money remains. So now a new deal has been struck that makes a lot more sense. An environmental land trust called the Semper Virens Fund has offered to buy the camp's timber rights for $9.6 million in order to preserve the trees in perpetuity. Many of the trees are more than 100 years old, but there's also a grove of ancient redwoods that are much older than that. I think the YMCA didn't fully understand what an incredible incredible treasure they had in this forest landscape. You know, I don't think they really understood how extraordinary it was and the community helped them see that. Semper Viren's executive director, Sarah Barth, calls it the ultimate win-win situation. A conservation group with a mission to protect trees, helping a nature camp that teaches kids to appreciate them. And it really feels like a gift to the people of San Mateo County and, and beyond all the people are going to be able to experience the camp and its amazing forests. In San Mateo County, John Ramos, KPIX5.